What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Um, I'm going to react to a batch, another batshit crazy video where this mother says um, she knew her kid was trans from eating green vegetables. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. Before we get into it, though, I want to give you a word from promopalace.biz. Music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pull promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard a beautiful lady. If you need online market promotions for your music product brand or your service, please go to promopalace.biz. You can also email promopalace1 at gmail.com for any questions. That's promopalace, the number one, at gmail.com. All right, we're going to get into this crazy, um, crazy lady says her kid was trans from eating vegetables. I, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. That sounds so crazy. Let's get into it. Y'all know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> make this make sense to me. This woman, and I'm going to play the clip here in a second. This woman said that she knew that her kid was trans because her kid was eating vegetables. In her mind, kids don't know. No, 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 no. Your kids are kids without discipline or parents that don't know how to manipulate their kids. Meaning that if you want your kids to eat some vegetables, you can sprinkle a little something, something in the vegetables to make them eat it. Put a little sugar on it, put a little butter in it, make it taste good, put it, make it flavorful. Maybe they'll eat the vegetables more likely than if you just got plain, nasty, dry vegetables that you're trying to force down the throats of your kids. Anyway, this fool, and I call her a fool because- And he's probably right that they're probably dry because it's a white lady and- White people make some of the most blandest vegetables on the planet. Um, yeah, like, you know, white people think salt and pepper is seasoning. <laughs> um, fortunately, I don't. I know salt and pepper and garlic and other things included make it seasoning. You know, cayenne pepper or whatever it may be. But, uh you know, yeah, a lot of white people make some bland ass vegetables. So you got to put butter or something on it, season it up, something, man. Or them bland green beans and bland ass peas and bland ass broccoli. Let's keep it moving. Because she's a foolish woman by yeah. saying that the kids eat a kid, her son eating vegetables made her realize he was trans wrote a clip he took him to specialists and um, neurologists and he had brain scans trying to figure out why he couldn't sleep but his food choices were odd they were always like green vegetables raw green vegetables you know kids wow. most kids don't like to eat those things all of those things once we figured out that he was transgender when he came to us and told us the pattern of everything um, that he had experienced as a child, including eating green vegetables because that boosts testosterone, were just methods of his body trying to become who he was meant to be. <laughs> trying to become what he was meant to be. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This world is going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This world has everybody on this planet has damn near been dropped on their fucking heads. This is some of the craziest shit. And I, I looked this shit up. 
I just want to like, because I asked somebody about this. Does green vegetables boost testosterone? Okay, it says vegetables such as spinach, Swiss chard, and kale, which I doubt are any of the three vegetables this kid was that eaten, are rich in magnesium and mineral that may, may, may increase the body's level of testosterone. So unless she says the kid was eating spinach, Swiss chard, or kale, how the hell did the kid's testosterone increase? It doesn't say nothing about green beans and peas. It says they ate raw vegetables. Like, who eats, like, okay, sp besides a spinach salad, who eats, like, raw spinach? Like, I think she is spewing horse shit. Because from what I'm seeing, it just seems like, I don't even know what Swiss chard is. Let me let me Google Swiss chard. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, it's a plant. So these are like these are like salads. So she didn't say he was eating salads. She said he was eating vegetables, which was probably like raw broccoli and I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Let's keep it moving. His body take his body is screaming, I need testosterone, and I'm not supposed to be a girl. That's what you, that's what she said. But 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 if you if you ever look at this, you have to realize you have to say, why all of a sudden people are more trans now than they ever have been? When I was growing up, I had never seen a nobody at the school was trans. There was no such thing that you had, you had kids who were you know tomboys. You had people who may. Have Let me chime in. Same thing here. When I was in school, there was no trans. First time I seen a trans was as an adult, and that person was raised by. Um, the mother and the mother's girlfriend, two women. There was no father figure in the household whatsoever. And that's basically what I pointed to as, as people like to say, root causes. That's what I pointed to as the root cause of why this person decided that they wanted to be a transgender because they were literally raised by two women in the household. Let's keep it moving. Been loners sitting in the corner somewhere, goth with fingernail paint. But you had nobody saying, you had nobody saying that they were trans. There was no trans kids growing up. From elementary, middle school, high school, never seen a trans kid. Not one time in any school that I've ever been to. Any, I'd never seen it. Even when I got to college, I, I was in college at the University of Arizona, and I had, I had not one time seen a trans person. In five years of being at the university, not one time have I seen a trans person. So how all of a sudden now we're seeing this trend of multitudes of people becoming trans. And these parents all have the same theology. Well, my kid was acting strange. And that mean they trans. Oh, my kid was emotional. That mean they trans. Well, my kid like Barbie dolls. But that mean he must be trans. Like, come on, man. Y'all can't, you can't be serious. Let me stop right there. My sister was a tomboy. Never once did we say you're supposed to be a boy. She's married with three kids now. Um, as a, when I was in kindergarten, I remember like the babysitters uh, playing Barbies with the babysitter's daughter. And me and the babysitter's daughter playing with Barbies. Never once did anybody say, oh, he's supposed to be a girl. And isn't that why they invented the Ken doll anyways? So boys could play Barbies too? You know, I think what's going on now is people are telling people that if they are attracted to the opposite sex, then they're supposed to be, or no, my bad, my bad. Let me rephrase that. I said it wrong. If people are attracted to the same sex, that they're supposed to be the opposite sex of what they are. That's what I think is going on here. They're telling people, oh, you're attracted to the same sex. You're supposed to be the opposite sex of what you are. If you're a boy attracted to a boy, they're saying you're supposed to be a girl. If you're a girl attracted to girls, you're supposed to be a boy. Yeah, well, that's all fine and dandy, but you can't. You can't be a a girl can't be a boy and a boy can't be a girl. Um, they could try and attempt, 
but it will never be a hundred percent. And another thing I think that's going on here is I really do think they're trying to make it seem like there is no such thing as gay people and homosexuals. Cause think about it. They're sitting there saying that a biological man who identifies as a woman, if they date guys, they're considered heterosexual. No, there's still homosexual. There's still a man, you know, having sexual intercourse relationships with another man. And then they're saying if a biological woman who identifies as a man dates a woman, that they are heterosexual. No, you're still a lesbian. You're still a woman dating a woman. Unless you can grow a penis, you know, outside of the womb, um, which you can't, what are we talking about here? You know, that's what I think this really boils down to is they're trying to make, um, they're trying to turn, make gayness look at, like it's their heterosexual, like gay people are like they're heterosexual by telling them that if you are attracted to the same sex, you're supposed to be the opposite sex of what you are. That That's, that's what I take from it. We, we and it's, it's it's like most of the people whose kids are affected most, not all, are liberals. Why is it that liberals, yeah. their their kids yeah. are the ones more susceptible yeah. to being trans? Yeah. Why is that a correlation? No conservative person I know got trans kids. But because because we're um, where what's the word I'm looking for? Um. They're, I mean, they're pushing it. They're, 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 they're pushing it. They're um, enabling it. Enable. That's the word I'm looking for. They're. That's because liberals are enabling this thing. They're enabling this to happen. Which this is something that I'll never accept, and I never agree on. And transgenderism, and and you know what's crazy is, all these feminists out here support transgenderism, are dumbing in a bag of bricks. Because they don't understand that transgenderism is a complete, and I mean a complete, 100% contradiction of feminism. I repeat, transgenderism is a 100% contradiction of feminism. But feminists, leftist, liberal feminists are the ones who enable this, indulge this, who support this, who push this. And it's coming back to bite them in the ass now. All of these liberal people got the kids are trans and confused and all this other stuff. And you just look at the way they vote. Look at the teachers. Look at all these people. And, and, and look at yourself and say, which way? Well, how are they voting? Are they all vote for Democrats? What would like like that? That's something that's a there there. Yeah. And I think we need to address it. But anyway, I thought it was absolutely mind blowing that this woman had in part of what she said is that her kid um, eating vegetables was 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 somewhat of an indication of him being trans. Like, stop doing your kids like that, man. The kids can be confused when they're young. They get emotionally unstable when they're young. It, they you know, I had to cut them off again. Next thing you know, it made me think about something. Next thing you know, they're going to be saying Popeye was trans because he ate raw spinach out the can. <laughs> they're going to be saying Popeye was trans, you know. <laughs> Keep it moving. There's a lot of factors involved in that. Let them hit puberty first naturally, and then you can make a determination when they turn 18. But let your kids go through puberty first. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, tr they, they are arbitrarily creating an agenda for these kids before their body reacts to it. When you, before you hit puberty, you, you, you a confused mess. Yeah. The boys yeah. don't really like girls until they hit puberty and they get horny. So why would you thwart a, a young man's potential before he hits puberty? You know, if, if it wasn't for y'all pushing this and, and giving kids this alternative, we wouldn't even have trans people whatsoever. It wouldn't even exist, to be I honest. Comment in the comment section. Make sure y'all get a pure talk phone. I'll see you on the next one. Um, you know, I like Officer Tatum. Nice guy. He always comes at it from a Christian point of view. Because I think he said that, um, he's in Israel right now. And I was sitting there thinking about, you know what? I actually would like to go to Israel. I really would like to go to Israel. But Egypt's at the top of my list. But... He brings it. He he always has a religious Christian.
point of view from this, which is fine because my sister's Christian, her husband's Christian, and they're the two most decent human beings on the planet that I know personally. Greatest parents I've ever seen with my with my own two eyes. Greatest parents is my sister and her husband. Greatest father I've ever seen with my, my own two eyes. Great human beings. Um, teach their kids right from wrong properly, you know. But I'm a laws of nature guy. And this doesn't align with natural law either. There's no such thing as transgender animals. There's no transgender grizzly bears or wolves or dogs or cats. No, this is just some, this is just mankind. You know, the thing is, is mankind, we got to try to accomplish everything that we can possibly imagine. So if, if, a, if we could imagine a woman becoming a man and a man becoming a woman, then mankind has to go out and try and accomplish it. If we can imagine um, living on uh, Mars, the mankind has to go an accomplishment. You know, if we can um, imagine like living, having like underwater uh, civilizations, mankind will go out and try to accomplish it. Anything that the human mind can imagine, we always try to accomplish. And that's the problem. It's like, okay... Um, why is there plane crashes? Because mankind isn't, wasn't meant to fly. We weren't meant to fly, but we want to mimic birds. Um, uh, you know, mankind wants to mimic fish and go scuba diving until you get eaten by a shark. Because that's what happens when you mimic a fish. Sharks eat fish. You know, you get the full experience. <laughs> you know, I wish mankind would just slow up, slow down a little bit, take a breather and relax and stop trying to do everything that's possibly imaginable. But this is one thing, um, like I told a friend of mine, unless unless you can, a, a biological man can, you cut off his pecker, uh, put a womb in him, impregnate him and he could breastfeed a, a baby after it's born from the womb this is all make-believe imaginary made up bullshit that i would never accept or agree now if, if we figure that out okay then i i guess i'd have to accept it do i agree with it still won't agree with it um and unless uh and and, and that's the thing i think it seems almost easier for us to turn a man into a woman than a woman into a man. And that's why they seem to be doing that more. It seems more often they're trying to turn men into women than women into men. Cause you know what? There's no way, no, how is a woman going to grow a penis outside the womb? It's not happening. And what are you going to do? Surgically implant one and put it on her. I mean, okay. It's still fake. It's still no different than a dildo. Is it going to actually get hard? Is it going to produce sperm? Anything of that nature. You know, like these people watch too many movies and they believe too many movies. It, it, it's crazy. It's like I would almost believe religion more than anything dealing with transgenderism. And I don't even believe anything that deals with religion, with man made religions. I don't believe in man made religions, I believe in the laws of nature, natural law. But I would believe religion far more and far greater than I will ever transgenderism. And neither one of those have any facts or proof or evidence to back up their claims. That's the thing. It's like they transgenderism attacks religion, but you have no facts or evidence or proof to back up your claims any more than religion does. And I would probably say religion might have at least one or two facts or proof that they could, you know, bring to the table. So, yeah, man, this is batshit crazy. I guess I have to title it Crazy Mother Says She Knew Her Kid Was Trans From Eating Vegetables. Because, I mean, he's too nice about it. Tatum's too nice about it. This is batshit crazy. Like, really? She didn't say he just ate spinach or Swiss chard or kale. 
She just said raw vegetables. And like, that's the only kid eating raw vegetables on the planet. Get the fuck out of here. This is some crazy shit. Once again, um, I almost don't know what to say about this shit. But thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast. And I'm out.